Hey, um, a, a student of mine asked me, um, I've been asked this many times, but you know, who did I, why did I go with BMI as, as my performing rights organization rather than um, ASCAP or CSAC? And this was many, many years ago when I joined uh, BMI. And um, we all know what BMI stands for. Of course, it's, a, it's uh, barely making it, you see, now, or, or buy me insurance. That stands for, um, but <laughs> I went with BMI. Um, uh, well, many many years ago, when I well actually in '92, I uh, started making calls uh, from Tallahassee, Florida, where I was living at the time, uh, to Nashville to try and set up a meeting because I read somewhere or heard somewhere that you could act, could you could get a meeting with uh, uh, what were then called and I still think are called writer publisher relations people, and their job is to um, uh, be sort of the middle person between new writers coming into town and the publishing industry, uh, their needs and things. So, because you know, you never know when the next uh, uh, Chris Christopherson or or Chris Stapleton's going to come into town, and then they can, you know, tell them the lay of the land. And those, um, it was a, a lot easier to get an appointment back then. I think it's uh, certainly still possible, but it takes a little bit more work. Um, but I was able to get a meeting. I actually was able to get a meeting uh, uh, twice. The first time uh, I, I, I went to BMI, I met with a guy named Jody Williams, who um, has become quite the mentor to me over time, whether he knows it or not. And I met with Jody and uh, played him the tape, you know. And he wanted to um, he wanted to know what I wanted, you know. Is this uh, is this you playing and singing? Yes, sir. Uh, well, what do you want to do, Steve? These are really good songs. I said, well, I don't know. I want to maybe be in a band or something. Or, you know, just I, uh, maybe, be, you know, write country songs or maybe be an artist or uh, be in a studio. Basically just asking him to get me out of retail. Um, I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do. Um, and his eyes rolled the back of his head. And he said, okay, well, you know, let me know what you want to do next time you're in town. So the next time I came into town, April 11th, 1992, I uh, had my stuff, all my stuff in my truck, and I was moving to town. Got another appointment with Jody, played him some new songs. Uh, Steve, these are great. What do you want to do? And I had uh, read somewhere or heard somewhere that it was important to be able to make it easier for people to help you. And so I said, I want to be a, a staff writer at a major publishing company. And he picked up the phone. Well, first he said, you know, you just need to play out a lot. Since you're living in town, play out a lot and they'll call you. Don't be knocking on publishers' doors and, hey, let me get a meeting. Let me... He said, if you want a publishing deal, keep all your songs in a pile. Okay, don't be doing single songs all over town because then you won't have what's called a Schedule A to bring into the deal. Keep your songs in a pile. Play out. Don't have a plan B. Um, don't get another career, you, career you'll like. And um, they'll call you. And that's what happened, actually. Um, and he, uh, he actually picked up the phone and said, uh, in fact, let's get you started. And he called Amy Curland, who was then the owner at the Bluebird, and uh, uh, said that there's a guy coming down who's going to give you a tape. And if you could help uh, help him out and play sometime, uh, that would be a big favor to, to me, Jody. And so I went down there and handed Amy the tape. And she said, you know, Jody's never called down here. What are you doing Sunday? because she just had the featured writer on Sunday, the pro featured writer on Sunday cancel at the last minute. And so, you know, I'd come in on a Thursday and here I was the featured writer on the Sunday. So boy, the music business is easy. It was not easy, but that was really good advice and opened up some doors early for me. Um, and so I stuck with them, but, but, but really the reason I went with BMI rather than with ASCAP or CSAC is because they called me back. Now, there's some good people at ASCAP. I love some people at ASCAP and CSAC. I've got good friends there. I know lots of writers who are very happy with those choices. But, you know, I tried to get people on the phone, and for whatever reason, they were too busy or, uh, or whatever the reason was, but BMI called me back. And then I just started a relationship with, those, with, um, with that organization, and that's what it's all about. Now, there's no reason why you can't change if your needs change or their needs change or the relationships change but um you know if they call you back and you're actually getting a meeting with them and you know there's some rapport there and you really feel like they may be helping you then there's your choice um and in the end the money are you know the, the money earned from the different organizations you know one year one quarter ask cat may pay a little more bmi may you know whatever but in the end i think it's always kind of evened out and you really have to sort of measure that thing with the relationships that you 
that you've already established and do you want to you know jump ship too early and they both uh, all three organizations have great parties and cool events and um, so it's really about the relationships and you know who will call you back <laughs> and the hats of course you know and you know quite frankly no offense guys BMI or ASCAP I mean ASCAP or CSEC but BMI have, has always had the best hats by far